Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about all those questions related to the partial differential equations. These five questions appear here. We will discuss all in the help of shortcut trick. You can simply follow my telegram link where you can find the various discussions and the other charts there. Otherwise you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar for finding the various videos on the mathematics as well as GATE examination. So let's start with this one. So what is that? This is the wave equation. So we all know what is the general equation of the wave equation is. This is my c square of this. So if you compare them, you will get c as a 1. Now, your target is to find the solution at this point. How you can find the solution at this point is, you can simply write the, this is the shortcut tricks for you. You can write this function as x minus of ct plus f of x plus ct plus 1 upon 2c integration over the 1 minus x minus ct x plus ct of gx dx now the only question arises is what is the f that is the g f is the initial condition this is my f of x this is my f of x and what is the partial derivative this is called as the g of x now if you take g of x here it will be the 0 so this part will be my 0 now you can substitute this value as here so this is what is that you want to find the value at pi by 2 and this is my pi c is my 1 so x minus ct that is f pi by 2 minus pi is f of minus pi by 2 and f of 3 pi by 2 that's a simple task now you can substitute this value here sin of minus pi by 2 is my minus 1 sin of minus pi is a 0 sin of minus 3 pi by 2 so how you write the sign of minus 3 pi by 2 I can write as a pi by 2 minus of 2 pi so that is my cos 2 pi cos of 2 pi is my plus 1 plus how you write f of 3 pi by 2 so it's a sign 3 pi by 2 sign 3 pi by 2 I can write this value as 2 pi minus pi by 2 so it lies in the here this is my minus sign pi by 2 that's a minus 1 sine of 3 pi is a 0 sine of 9 pi by 2 so sine of 9 pi by 2 I can write it as 4 pi plus pi by 2 so sine of this is written as sine pi by 2 so sine pi by 2 is my plus 1 it is my here so what is that this will be a 0 this is a 0 so 0 divided by 2 is my 0 is the right answer that's a simple way of this Okay, look about this one. So, if the Laplace distribution, Laplace equation is given to here with some boundary condition, then your target is to find the value of alpha. That's a very simple. You can simply integrate this with respect to the x and y. What will happen if you firstly integrate this with respect to the x? So, it will be give you here. This is with respect to x plus you can integrate this with respect to y. So, it will give you here over the this. Now you have to integrate this over the x. What is the limit is my 1 to 2. And this is my from 1 to 2 over the y is my 1 to 2. So what is the meaning of that? If you solve this, sorry, it's a 1 to 2. Now what is that? This is the partial derivative with respect to the x. So 2 comma y minus partial derivative with respect to x of 1 comma y of dy plus over this you can this is the partial derivative this is the with respect to the y so it means you have to substitute this value as x comma 2 minus partial derivative of x comma 1 which is 0 now you can substitute all these values what will happen you can see this value is partial derivative of u this is my 5 integration of 5 will be my 5y partial derivative of 1 comma y is y is the partial derivative is my so integration is here over 1 to 2 plus you can here what is the answer of this is my x so the integration is my x square by 2 this is my alpha by 7 so alpha by 21 of x cube over the 1 to 2 is 0 now after solving you will get the value of alpha so it is a 10 minus of 2 minus 5 plus of half plus you can substitute as a 4 by 2 is 2 it's 8 by 21 of alpha minus 
वन बाई टू माइनस माइनस प्लस एल्फा अपॉन ट्वेंटी वन इज जीरो सो माइनस हाफ प्लस हाफ इज कैंसल आउट माइनस टू प्लस टू इज कैंसल आउट सो इट्स अ फाइव इट विल बी माई माइनस सेवन अपॉन ट्वेंटी वन एल्फा इज जीरो सो इट्स अ वन अपॉन थ्री सो इट्स अ फाइव इज एल्फा अपॉन थ्री सो द आंसर ऑफ एल्फा इज माई फिफ्टीन इज द करेक्ट Look about the another one. So this is the first order partial differential equation. So clearly says that I can write this equation as uh, Lagrange multiplier, Lagrange equations. This is my x square plus y. So I can write this equation as dx upon x, dy upon x square plus y, and du upon u. Now how you can solve that? If I take the first and second, what is that? This is nothing but my log x upon u is my constant. Or you can say x upon u is e raised power. That's my constant of c1. If you take the first and second pairs, so what will happen is a dy upon dx minus y upon x is my x. So either you can solve this with the help of the integrating factor, or you can simply take this as x dy upon dx minus y is equal to x square. Now you can see this is nothing but my Cauchy-Euler equation. so i can take x is my e raised to power z so this equation becomes my d minus 1 of y and this is my e raised to power 2z so what is the value of y is my c1 e raised to power z plus the here is my e raised to power 2z so i can change them as c1 plus of x square so c1 i already taken so i can consider c2 so what is the value of the constant is y minus x square upon x so therefore one constant is this second constant is this so i can write this value in terms of here y minus x square upon x now your target is to find the values of this unknown so you can take this value so i can use this x this is my x this is my y this is my u so i can substitute here what is the x x is my 2 u is my y minus 4 y is my 4 x is my 2 and divided by 2 so what is the meaning of that it clearly says if i say phi of a if i consider this a it is nothing but my 1 by a so therefore i can use this value here so what is that this is nothing but my this is y minus x square upon x so what is your target your target is to find this value this is x this is y i can substitute here this is u upon 1 This is two minus one upon one. So what is the answer of this u? U is nothing but my one is the right. The only concept is you can simply solve this and then get the answers. Okay, look about this equation. So first of all, what is the meaning of the steady state? The steady state means this is my zero. Once this is my zero, if you look about this equation, this will give you the second derivative of this is zero. So what is the meaning of that? If second derivative is zero, the constant this R mine here. Now you can apply this u of zero comma t is my one. So what is that u? Is this zero plus c two? That is my c two is my one. And if I apply u of two comma is my three. So what is the meaning of that? This c one of two plus c two. C two is my one. So what is the meaning of the c one? C one is nothing but my one. So what is the solution of this? Is x plus one is my solution. So your target is to find the value at one. So at x is my one. What is the answer of this? U is my two is the right answer. Okay, look about this one. So the partial differential equation is given to you. Then your target. That's the transformation is here. That's a very simple question. So I will tell you a very simple shortcut tricks for this. If I call this value as of here, any of the transformation here, then how you can find the value of the a, how you can find the value of b, how you can find the value of c? That's a very simple question. So you look look at that. The value of this is xi square. That means this. So I can take this value as a xi square. That is that. So firstly is my seven. So I can substitute this value. This is the xx. So it xx is nothing but my a square. Plus, if I substitute here, what is the meaning of this? So I can write this as seven a. Now it's a sixteen. So sixteen of 
x y so what is the pair of the x y is because this first part we have compute for a a is the coefficient of x y so we look only for a x y that is my a b plus four it's a y square so y is the coefficient is my b square this is the value of the a similarly for the c this is the y c is the coefficient of the eta so we can look about here so it's a seven of x square so x is my c so it's a c square plus sixteen times of x y that is my c d plus four times y square so y square is my d square similarly how you write the b b is the coefficient of x i and eta it means you have to take both at the same time so it's a seven is a x square so x square is written like here so either you can write as a we all know x i eta and eta x i both have the same so first time is a c then second time is a c a plus sixteen this is x y so you can take x y as a c a d plus c b c plus for the third pair for the four y square so y square is either as a b d or is as a d b now you can compare them what is the value of the a if you compare this a a is my minus two b is my one c is my c is my again minus two and d is my seven so you can substitute here seven a square that is four sixteen b d b d is my minus of two b square b square is my one so it's a twenty eight minus thirty two plus four that's my zero So once a is zero, so this part will complete zero. So there is only need to find the value of b. So seven a c and c a. What is the a c is four. So four plus four is eight plus sixteen a d. So a d is my minus fourteen minus of two b d. B d is my seven plus seven is fourteen. So this is my fifty six. This is my two fifty six. This is my fifty six. So what is that? This is nothing but my One forty-four. So, if you look about this answer, so what is that? This is my b square minus four ac upon twelve cube. So, b square is my one forty-four square b cube. So, it's a my twelve, twelve, and twelve minus four ac is my zero. So, one forty-four, one forty-four will be cancel out, and one forty-four and this is cancel out. So, the right answer of this problem is my twelve is the right answer. So remember, this is the shortcut fix. You can simply write any of the transformation in this form A, B, C, and you can solve. So I hope you can simply learn the concept behind this all these shortcut questions. We will see the next lecture on the ordinary differential equations. How you can solve these previous ES papers. Till then, you can simply follow my channel name, Dr. Harish Kar. Playlist is this for finding the various previous videos. Kindly like, share, and comment this video with your friends. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.